Welcome to the basic electrical engineering. In this video we are going to learn about what will be the response of the current if the voltage, sinusoidal voltage input is applied to R, L and C. We apply the same voltage in all the three circuit and we will see how does the individual current respond to it. Just like V is equal to Vm sin omega t, I is equal to applied voltage by resistance. But we can rewrite this. So omega is multiplied in both the place. Similarly here for the capacitor. Usually we have seen the equation in this way, but we can rewrite this. Since omega is multiplied here, we can divide. Now we will get the current wave from and we got the answer here directly. Here we need to solve. Let us solve this. Let us directly write integration of sin omega t minus cos omega t. We can rewrite this as minus cos omega t can be this negative sign we can eliminate if we write here plus 180 or minus 180. So better to keep minus 180 so that we can get an angle less than 180 degree. This will be capital letter of this. So we get like this. Here. Derivative of sin is cos omega t cos omega t can be plus omega t plus 90 degree. So now we get the current equation. We can also write this as So we, what we get here in this case, <coughs> sorry. So we get here 
three different case. So let us say this is for R, this is for L, and this is for C. What is the difference we obtain that is important? And also, what is the impedance we get? Impedance is how much is the uh, content which is divided by the voltage. So what we find is individually there is this is the value of is Z. The Z value is equals to R here, which is divided impedance. Here the Z value is omega L. So we will give a name omega L as XL. XL is the inductive reactance. Inductive reactance. <coughs> and here the value of J is 1 by omega C that is nothing but XC. So we get the value of three new terms we got. One is R, one is XL, one is XC. Because the content which is divided by the voltage is nothing but the impedance. Here it is capacitive reactance. So now we have got three values for different cases and what is the take home we have? The voltage is the reference in all the three cases. So we have here the voltage is V. In all the three cases we have the voltage as reference and the the current equation there is no phase lag or lead. The phasor of the current will be in the same direction as the V. And here we have got current is minus 90 degree, it is lagged. And here we get the value of current is lagged by an angle of 90 degree. And here we get the current is leading by an angle of 90 degree. So here is a current which is leading by an angle of 90 degree that is being reflected from these three waveforms. And also we can get, we can write here the value of, uh, because we have taken the voltage as reference, so we can get here current value as equals to V by R. And here also we need to write the value of current. So let us say this is IR and this is IL. So here IL is the direction of the both must be same. So if I rotate this voltage in the anticlockwise by an angle of minus 90, it is minus of J times of V. So this is the voltage direction in this direction of the current. And then here we can hear the voltage direction is in the direction of current. So no need to change the direction. But here V is in the X axis. We rotate it in the clockwise by an angle of 90 degree. So it is minus of J divided by uh, impedance that is XL. So we can write omega L. We can rewrite this if I multiply here minus 1, minus 1 both. So we can write here this as V by J omega L. Similarly here uh, we can write here I is equal to V by. So V need to be rotated in the clockwise. So it is multiplied with J uh, divided by impedance is 1 by omega C. This is nothing but J omega C V. And we can write this as V by 1 by j omega c we can write like this so here we get the value of z is j omega l or j of xl here we get the value of z is 1 by j omega c or minus of j 1 by omega c here we get the value of z is equal to r so this is the reflection in all the three different cases that we have observed. Thank you and next video we will have continuity with this.